All right, everybody, welcome back. Got a special, special guest today, the Allen sisters. Not much uh, needed. I hope he'll turn the music down, but he probably won't. But uh, Jenna, Jory, thanks so much for, for taking the time. I know you guys were up late, right, driving? Yeah. All night. <laughs> I'm sure Jory us. slept the whole way home, right? Yeah. Hey, oh, actually, yeah. you know what, Aaron? I had the last hour and a half of the haul. I was on 37. <laughs> um, so this was a little jet lag, so I had to take over the wheel. But uh, Listen, you know. <laughs> hey, you know what? It was 4.30 a.m., and, I, you know, I'm six hours ahead overseas in Europe. So, I mean, I was gone. I you was gone. Wide away. <laughs> you were I gone, mean, right? I was gone. It was gone. That's right. That's right. Well, it's, what is it, uh, six hours ahead, 7.30 right now for yep. you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. You know, almost practice time. Yeah, almost huh? practice time, dinner, and then go to sleep. You know, usually I get yelled at by the family because I just fall asleep on the couch, you know, like 4, 35 in the afternoon. But, I mean, what can you do? You That's just, right. She did that anyway when she was in America time. <laughs> so don't let her fool you. That's What's right. Happen? What's going to happen when she gets old? <laughs> That's She'll right. Never be awake. Woo! That's right. But uh, for everybody who don't know, this is Jory Allen, uh, 2019 Miss Basketball. Sister Jenna Allen, or Jory plays at DePaul. Jenna plays in Spain for Baxi Farrell. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep, you so, got it. Yeah. So thank you so much for taking the time. I know you guys are tired, but thank you for coming over and supporting Dad and, yeah, and you all know, that. Yeah, you know, come back over here. You know, I was we were both Lady Stars to be able to give back and just, you know, be around this community and just, uh, you know, get to relive the memories that we once built in this field house uh, and watch Dad coach. He's so passionate about it and be able to support him because mm -hmm. he supports us so much. I mean, it's just, it's... It's a great time. That's Be home right. with family, and it's a great time. Yeah, for, for both of you, what is it like to come back? I know you don't get to come back to games very often, being that you both are still playing, but what is it like to come back, Jory? Well, we were just sitting behind the bench talking about how different the game seems uh, once you're a few years older, um, just the pace and the, and the style. Um, but it really, it's just so, it feels, this is home. Yeah. You know, we, grew, we both grew up in this gym, and it's, it's a great feeling to come back and, and to see the girls who are running the team right now. And <laughs> yeah, I hear my kids in the background back here. <laughs> you know, yeah. whenever whenever I step into this gym, I think of the semi-state game against, oh. against Ron Colley, you know, and, and the bleachers were filled. I mean, there, there, wasn't, a, a empty, there wasn't an empty space in this yeah. gymnasium, so it was just... Just the memories just filled your mind when you step yeah. into this gym, and That's right. you know back then it, it seemed so big, and now when I walk in here, it seems so small. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it does seem small. I mean, given that I'm sure it seems really small to you right now, given that the gyms you get to play in. But uh, you know, this I think the it's coming around now. We're again we're back in the those days when you played. I think you got to host sectional, regional, and semi-state. All three were here. Well, this year. Sectionals here, regionals here, so um, it's kind of kind of coming back to you know. Yeah, and I think it's great. You know, honestly, we have such a great fan base. The community really rallies around us. So for us to have that, I mean, it, it automatically gives us an advantage. I right. mean, just to have our fans, you know, to have our home court. I mean, so I'm excited for this team. I've been keeping up with everything. I've been watching Dad, always trying to support <laughs> how, wherever, however <laughs> far I am away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You he's know. hard to support oh, sometimes, you know. isn't he? Yeah, he's a little stubborn. <laughs> right, I've you know always that. thought that. <laughs> you know. he's, he can be a little stubborn, but, you know, we love him. You know, you got to love him. Yeah, he uh, he, asked, he asked us every once in a while, you know, how, how really was it growing up with me coaching you? And, well, I'll be honest with him. I said, Dad, well, there, there were days I wanted to punch you in the face. <laughs> yeah, I because, I he right. because he was right. Because he was right. And right. I just didn't want to admit it, but... Yeah, you yeah. had him as an assistant coach, right? And then you yeah. had him as a uh, head coach head for all coach, four. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, I look back now and I just uh, realize how much effort he really put into, you know, supporting us on and off the court growing up. And um, I look at my my relationship with my coach co with Coach Bruno at DePaul right now, um, and he's really like a father figure to me too. And uh, my dad's just a really good coach. You get around other coaches. I'm sure Jenna, you, you feel the same way. You around other college coaches and professional coaches and dad just really knows the game yeah, i'm 25 now so i've been around the game a little while <laughs> Long you know? Time, yeah. and you know I, I you know going overseas even staying here you know going the, you know to different universities and it just really really makes you appreciate how great of a coach my dad is i mean it's just not a lot of people out there like him i mean he's just i mean you go overseas and you, you meet these coaches and you know i mean they just don't know what they're doing right. and you know you just it's nice just to have 
him in house whenever I have a problem or something like that. I can call him up, and he's just he's got such a great basketball mind, and he's just so knowledgeable about the game. It's just um, I really look up to him in that aspect. Yeah. Um, well, one question I want to ask you: How is your season going, Janet? Jory, we'll get to you in a minute. How is your season going over in Spain? I know you said you have to go back here soon, but yeah, I'm leaving right after the holidays. But we're doing really well. We're 13 and two. We're leading the league, and That's awesome. um, I'm playing well. I'm feeling great. Um, so. We had just finished the first half, and now we got the second half coming after the after the Christmas, after the holidays. So just home, trying to rest and regenerate, and just kind of you know disconnect a little bit and get back to it. That's great. And Jory, how's your season? I know you guys lost last night to Louisville, yes. but uh, how was your season? I know I've seen a du couple double doubles. You had 21 last week. Yes, uh, we uh, we got off to a rough start. My team, we had a, we've had a lot of injuries this season. Um, but we're finally starting to find our groove again. I'm a, you know, I started out last year with injury. I ha had a surgery on my left ankle and left right. knee. Um, so I'm really just now starting to feel like getting back. back. Yeah, yeah, starting to feel yeah. my touch for the ball. And yeah, we had a tough loss against Louisville last night, but um, we didn't give up. We had a great fight to us. And that's what I'm really excited about this team we have right now. There's a really, there's a grit to us that I think um, we haven't really quite gotten it all together yet, but last night that's going to be a win in march for us right so, right yeah I'm really excited. a lot of people don't realize too jory has not played organized basketball for two years it's not like just jumping right. back yes. on a bicycle yeah. and riding it there yeah. there's there is a learning curve to get back into that and, and the way your coach speed. bruno plays it's a little different so is <laughs> for her to be doing what she's doing already this year after missing two full seasons it it's pretty special so and this one over here you know keep in mind just a couple of years ago she missed a big chunk of the season with an injury too yes so a she's pretty significant you know, injury then. they bounce back from these things a lot faster yeah, than Alice their old man, man does man. I, they they really do they, do. they really do they must, do. Be, well, thank you, must be something to put in the water over there in the house or something <laughs> it's the limestone yeah <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> no yeah, but I, you know, all the credit goes to Linda. Oh yeah, no question. Right. Oh right. definitely, yeah, mom. Yeah, everything I know about basketball. She's, mom she's got me. superpowers. <laughs> I believe it. Putting up with your old man all these years Woo! is probably at the top of that list. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the the game that I saw jo of Jory play last night was the first one in three years. That you were so, there in person. Oh, I was there in person. Yeah, yeah. that's so awesome. It was really really special for us and. Um, you know, I'm only here for one week, but it's just so special to be able to spend yeah. this time with my family, get to see Jory play. Um, John's home, you know, he's just finishing like, uh, you know, like the first half of his swim season at Wabash. Right. And it's just, it's amazing, yeah. amazing. Get to see dad coach in action. That's I mean, right. Just so thankful, so thankful for everything. Now, uh, Janet, if uh, those of you at home that want to watch, how can they watch you uh, on foot play? So there's one link, it's called Canal Feb, C-A-N-A-L. FEB.com. You just have to create uh, an account. It's free, and my usually my games are on Saturdays, like in the in the early afternoon, because it's nighttime by me. So if I play <laughs> at eight, it's two p.m. here. So right, right. I mean, it's pretty easy to watch. But um, if everyone wants to tune in, yeah, go right ahead. It's and then uh, for, for Jory, I think most of your games are on Flow Sports. Yeah, but last night Flow Sports. But last night we were on Fox Sports One. You, yeah, I mean, that's, we'll we were watching it. You know, I had my wife Mandy was back here with the phone and watching you and. <laughs> We were here watching that, but uh, but that's good. And then you also are a writer, is that right? Yeah, I, I actually uh, I'm finishing up my undergrad in political science, but I uh, planning on getting my master's in writing and publishing. I actually just started a new internship with uh, a magazine called College Basketball Times, so I have some columns coming out in that soon. Awesome. Well, girls, I know you probably want to get back down where your dad can see yeah, we'll you so you, you can help coach. Thing, but, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, thank, thank you so much. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks for having us. Yeah, not Appreciate a problem. It. Enjoy your holidays. You too.